all right hello guys in this video we are going to explore autogen i'm sure you have heard about autogen so what is autogen autogen is a framework that enables the development of large language models application or llm applications using multiple agents that can converse with each other to solve tasks Autogen agents are customizable, conversable and seamlessly allow human participation. You can turn on human participation, you can turn off human participation. So they can operate in various modes that, and that employ uh, combinations of LLMs or human inputs or, and tools. So it's the next level thing. We have already seen AutoGPT but this is uh, even more better than AutoGPT. So Autogen enables uh, building next level a uh, next gen LLM applications based on multi-agent conversations with minimal effort. It simplifies the orchestration, automation and optimization of a complex LLM workflow. It maximizes the performance of LLM models and overcomes their weakness. It supports diverse conversation patterns. Uh, these systems span a wide range of applications. We will see uh, one or two examples but I will leave up to you to create and design more interesting things with Autogen. Now uh, in this short tutorial we are going to see how to get started with Autogen. Uh, so uh, well, let's get started. So first of all let me select a folder where I'm going to uh, you know work. So let me make this folder. The, let's call it Autogen. Okay. So this is the folder that uh, I'm going to work on. Now call uh, Python. So we go to python.org and here we go to downloads and we download Python 3.12 uh, in our system. The next thing that we are going to need is git. So we go to git-scm.com uh, and there we go. Mine is a Windows system. So I click here and install the git so once you install a python and git we need to have python greater than uh, 3.8 version and uh, git you can install the recent version so after we install these two then you can go to the github page of autogen and then we uh, can click here but before that uh, let me open the visual studio code so you have to install uh, visual studio code as well code editor so this is the visual studio code editor which is my favorite so i've already downloaded this and after downloading i've already installed the visual studio code and let me open the visual studio code here so everything set uh, after installing visual studio code editor we click uh, to open the Visual Studio Code Editor. Next, we copy the location of the folder where we are going to work. Then we click on Open Folder and we paste in the folder and we just select Folder here. So after we have done this, we can now install a uh, open up a terminal. So we go to Terminal and New Terminal here. So in the terminal, what we should type is git clone and then we head back to the github page here we click on code and then we go to local and we copy this link and we paste it here and press enter so once we press enter we can see that cloning into autogen so it is populating everything and it's installing or fetching the contents of the of this github uh, link so it's fetching everything uh, all the files that are mentioned here so after this is done uh, let us see what next uh, steps uh, does it give so here we can have different features for example multi-agent conversation so autogen agents can communicate with each other to solve tasks Customization or agent agents uh, can be customized to meet the specific needs of an application. This includes the ability to, to choose the LLM to use the types of human input to allow and the tools to employ. Human participation. Autogen seamlessly allows human participation. This means that humans can provide input and feedback to the agents as needed. 
for example let us see an example here so in this example we are going to copy everything here so we just copy here and uh, we uh, paste in uh, this example can be run with python test to agent.py which means here under the test we already have this agent to agent this is already uh, available here and the message and the output that you are trying to have is plot a chart of nvidia and tesla stock price change uh, with respect to day so we can run this but before running this we need to import the OpenAI API key so we say import OpenAI and then we say open AI and API key equal to and then we head back to uh, platform.openai.com and from there we uh, sign in with our account this is the platform of OpenAI and we go to API keys here we create a new secret key create secret key then we copy the key and uh, paste it here so this is done next you open up a terminal again and in this terminal now we are uh, going to run this uh, to agent.py but before that we are at this location autogen uh, 126 autogen we want to move to this location so we say cd autogen uh, now we are here in autogen then we say cd test we are somewhere in the test now we can probably run so python to agent.py we press enter and uh, this is the uh, message plot a chart of nvidia tesla stock price with change with uh, wtd and let us uh, wait for the output so this is pretty simple this is like auto gpt as well but uh, the main difference is that here in the auto gpt it is totally automatic but in this case you may interact if you desire uh, to interact so there you can put human inputs if you want human inputs if you want a sort of auto gpt like you can allow uh, to run itself you can uh, you know make two agents talk to each other and develop each other so here what output did we get uh, is that I'm sorry I'm not uh, able to help you plot the uh, chart directly but I can provide you with a Python script which will help you to plot the chart locally in your system. You can use the Y Finance module in Python which allow you to easily download stock market data from Yahoo Finance. First you'll need to install it in a local environment. Uh, to do that you can use the command this. Pip install Y Finance Matplotlib and Pandas. This command will install Y Finance Matplotlib for plotting and Pandas for data manipulation. The below Python script will download the uh, YTD data for Nvidia and Tesla and then plot the chart uh, for the closing prices. So this is the Python code. So uh, plot stock prices dot pi, and these are the code till I think here yes till here and this Python script runs the following steps import the necessary libraries first then define the list of uh, ticker symbols we are interested in for each ticker in the list it downloads the data from the start of the year to today's date and calculate the normalized return the return index which each uh, which is each day's uh, price divided by the first price day for each ticker it adds a plot of the normalized return to the plot after looping uh, over all tickers, it labels the plot with the legend and displays it. You can execute this script with Python by running python uh, plotstockprice.py in a terminal. Please remember that you need to have a working internet connection for the script to download the stock market data from the Yahoo Finance. Please provide feedback to your assistant. So it is waiting for feedback. So let us try this code somewhere else. So for that I need to open up a new window here and uh, let me open up a new folder so let me navigate to the file here so let me create a new folder here let's say test so we are going to test it here so here i'm going to just open the uh, select the folder here and uh, i'm going to create a new file but uh, let me create a new file with this name 
so we create a new file here and put in this name so here we are going to put in the code that has been generated by our auto gen and uh, the thing that we are going to copy is from this place so from import to show copy this and put it here okay but before that we need to install a few of the libraries as uh, said by this output install the libraries here so we copy this and next we go to terminal a new terminal and here we are going to paste uh, pip install yfinance matplotlib and pandas and click on enter now this is installing everything that is required now since uh, this is done now we can run this uh, module here so we are going to run this python file so we can just click here or we can say python uh, plot stock prices dot buy so press enter fetching data from nvidia 100 percent completed fetching data from tesla and we have this chart beautiful chart very beautiful now i can put in additional commands for example if i go back i can close this if i go back uh, to two agents and and i say that uh, please add google stock price as well okay so i'm asking you to go uh, to, to add the google uh, stock price as well so it is modifying the code uh, in it is modifying the code that is already being generated uh, let's see what uh, does it do so this is where we are uh, giving input as humans we are putting input but this step can also be asked to the uh, to an agent so you can have two agents which are talking with each other so we have added google in the list where we have defined our tickers okay that is very simple so they have added uh, just the tickers here adding google so again i will copy everything from here to here copy and then we are going to head over to the other location control a delete everything and paste it control s and then we are going to run this again and now we see google as well i'm sorry let me show you okay this is google as well so you we have three stocks now so this is how you can easily uh, use autogen there are many such cases if you um, had down for example here we can ask to chart a meta and tesla stock price execute the code this is not installed you can have output no please and percentage change you can have this so there are different code examples uh, so please find more code examples here so if you go to this location you can see there are different types of coding examples you can uh, do automated chess playing uh, and uh, chit chatting by gpt4 agents that seems pretty good so i'll bring out a new video where i will test uh, you know many of these and uh, before we move on before we uh, i say goodbye to you before i say bye to you i need to show you an important parameter which is the price of the api key so i've been testing this for just uh, about 10 to 15 minutes and then we see the usage we can see that uh, it is just uh, 0.16 dollars so i've run this about uh, four times uh, the command that i've shown you i've run this four times and it's very cheap as you know uh, uh, it's cheap for you know for personal use but it will be costly if uh, you are trying to do it for commercial purposes but uh, having said that i hope you uh, got the understanding of how to quickly use auto gpt so again if we summarize we have installed python first then we have installed git then we install the visual studio code editor and the visual studio code editor we imported this we are clone this github repository after cloning we run this uh, one of the examples we also use the platform.openai.com 
uh, to get in uh, to get uh, our API keys and uh, then we were able to plot the chart of um, Nvidia Google and uh, Tesla and we were also able to modify to add in Google uh, uh, stock as well and uh, this is just one use case and it's very pretty simple uh, this is just a basic uh, course or basic video to help you understand and how to use it so you can uh, just change the command here and you can get a different message for for example just the last one i can just say write me a, you know write me a song in english on the topic uh, let's say glass just random so uh, we can uh, just skip this okay or we can and uh, open up a new terminal <clears throat> we can open up a new terminal here just hold on okay here we can say two agents or this is the change directory cd2 auto gen cd2 this is another step if you open up a new terminal you have to do this step and cd2 agent dot by to agent okay this is python python to agent dot by and now we have write me a song in english on the topic class let's see the poem so this is a very bad example of using um, auto gen <laughs> because we can have different uh, use cases that we have uh, seen here so i will come up with more use cases here but let's see the output of the poem okay fragile body holding back tears but like the glass we stand high reflecting the infinite sky glass sparkling with the sunrise your transparency and elegant disguise in your simplicity we find grace in any time in any place through you we see the other side a lens to the world we usually hide an ocean in the glass a desert in the beat in the glass we find all the time so this is a very bad example i'm sorry of using autogen but in the next video we'll do some more interesting fun stuff but having said that i hope you got the understanding of using autogen and you are going to use this uh, in your own daily work to make your life uh, easier you know agi is coming up but before that let's use this one because when agi is coming we don't have to use these these codes so having said that this is your host prompt engineer signing off if you want to learn more about um, auto gpt you can refer to this video if you want to use cloud storage or cloud gpus a very cheap cloud gpus you can go ahead and uh, click on the link of the run pods uh, i will attach a link in the description section of my video and uh, yeah that's all have a nice day